Today, we're going to learn how to use AI to generate a new backdrop for your pictures. I'm going to use the AI that is built in into Photopea. Photopea is a free tool. You can use Photopea completely free with ads, or you can pay for the premium version to skip all of the ads. All right, so here I am. I already drag and drop my picture. And now I want to duplicate this thing. So go to the layer panel, right click on the layer and duplicate the layer. So now I got a copy of the image. With the copy, I'm going to click select and I will remove the backdrop. That's just one click. It will process for a moment and we are done. The upper copy, copy above is without the backdrop. So now let's add a brand new layer. Okay, put it in between those two pictures. And for this new layer, I want to select everything. So I will press Command A, select all. Now it's time to search for a tool called Magic Replace. Normally, you can see a spot healing brush tool at the top. Click on it, hold and wait for the old tools to show. Select Magic Replace and this is the AI enhanced tool. So you can just simply type what you need here. For the new content, I already type, I want forest background. I click replace. If you're on the free version, they may show you extra advertisement right now while it's processing. And here it is, I asked for the forest background and I got one. By the way, keep in mind, whenever you use any AI tool, feel free to try again. So I click again, maybe I will get better results. If not, I can always undo. All right, I like the second option better, so I will keep it. Right now, as you can see, the color of the lady and the backdrop is like a bit mismatching. We can fix that by duplicating our new backdrop. So let's just duplicate that as well. Right click, duplicate the layer, drag it all the way up here. Let's blur this layer. I don't want any details on it, so filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, that depends on the size of your image, but usually for the smaller image like mine, nine pixels blur will do. And for the blending mode, I just want to blend the hue of this new image. Not completely like that, but maybe 10, 15%. All right, so it seems like the light from the surrounding area from the forest is kind of reflecting on the model in front. So that's a nice quick trick that we can use 15% opacity hue blending mode and the blur version of the backdrop just in front of the model to give it this extra color matching color to the backdrop and this way we very quickly move from a regular image to the image with ai generated backdrop now we can download this new version just by going for file and export we got several different formats to choose from. PNG is a good one. So I will save this as PNG. And it's already in my downloads folder for this web browser. All right, that's how you can generate a new backdrop for your image using Photopy AI tools. Keep in mind, I'm on the premium version, so no ads popping up. But if you wanna use it for free, be ready to see few ads on the way. See you in the next how-to video.